So guess what? All of the articles today are horrible. So I have nothing to record, but I thought, you know what? Let's do a somewhat podcast kind of thing where I just discuss what's happening and my thoughts and things. But you know what? This time, let's discuss something that hasn't really been talked about too much. And I guess it it makes sense why it hasn't been talked about too much because, you know, the Switch just came out and it's way too early to be talking about this. But you know what? I want to talk about it because it's fun. So the topic that I will be discussing and giving my thoughts on is what will Nintendo's next console be? Now, I'm not talking about what will will it be after the Wii U because we already know it was the Switch. I want to talk about what will be Nintendo's next console after the Switch itself. So let's say four years down the road, the Switch has become outdated hardware-wise, and it's time for Nintendo to start working on a brand new console. So there's a bunch of different options I can see Nintendo taking. The first one I could see is if they made a Switch 2, where they literally have the exact same concept as the Switch. They just, you know, beef up the hardware and change some things. I could see Nintendo doing that, but at the same time, I can't, because I feel like people eventually will get sick of the same idea. So if Nintendo, let's say just say there's a that we're living in a universe where Nintendo is, like, from now on, just going to focus on Switch and never make anything different ever again. That would be catastrophic, because you can't just keep beating a dead horse, because we all know how that goes, especially with some companies, they've just kept re-releasing products, and they just end up being worse and worse and worse. Now, will they make a Switch Pro in between that, you know, Switch launch, which was March 3rd, 2017, to maybe four or five years or however long it is until the Switch needs to be replaced by a newer console. Will, like, will they make a Switch Pro in between then? I'd say that probably because the Nintendo Switch hardware is probably just going to get older. And Nintendo is probably going to come up with like a Switch Pro for the, the people who don't care how high it is. They don't care if it's like 500, 400 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever it is. They just want a strong, portable, and home console. Yeah, I could see them going for that as well, and personally, I would buy that as well, because I am a... Next, let's talk about the most logical option, and the thing that most people would think of. Nintendo would go back to traditional consoles. So, personally, I think that Nintendo going back to traditional consoles after the Switch is very likely, because... Well, yes, Nintendo is, like, they dominated the portable market and all that, they still, you know, they are still make home consoles, and they can't just, you know, leave that behind for their portable market. They might do that, but I don't think that's a Nintendo-type thing. For Nintendo might come out with another console after that, like another home console. I would imagine what it would be, though, would be a VR console, but this all depends on what happens beforehand. This is why it's going to be a pretty long video, because I want to discuss all the possible options that I can think of off the top of my head, because, again... Well, I didn't already say this, but this video is unscripted. So, if the Switch VR, like, if the Switch gets, like, a VR thing, which I think it will, actually does happen, and, you know, it actually becomes successful, I think Nintendo's next console VR still, you know, like, is a thing, like, as in, like, people still care about it, and not just becomes, like, a fad, like, 3D TVs and all that. I think their next console might be orientated entirely around virtual reality. I've come up with some possible options for a VR console by Nintendo. I'm not going to share them here because that would be a whole different video. But basically, I think Nintendo could go down that path if they really are into VR, which, spoiler alert, I think they are. So let's say Nintendo just releases a straight-up home console. Nothing different from it. It's a, just a powerful home console. Nothing else. I think that would be a very interesting move. By because I think the Nintendo eventually at this point is just, you know, given up on the traditional things because they kind of, oh, it's not working, let's try different stuff. But I think if Nintendo solely, like, just goes with what everyone else is doing, as in, like, Sony and Microsoft, by making a console that's powerful, for you know, like, good enough for developers, no bottlenecks whatsoever, 
It's just a straight up console that plays on discs or cartridges if cartridges take over discs at that time. And it's just easy for developers to make games and it's easier for gamers to play. That would be the best option because I think Nintendo would get back on top. Even though I think that home consoles and sales are showing, home consoles aren't doing as well as they've been doing a while back. And that's mainly because of A, portable consoles, and B, PCs. And by the way, I'm counting phones as a portable console. So let me just start to wrap this up. What do I think Nintendo is going to do next? I think they're just going to go with a straight up traditional console. I know that there's going to be some doubts about that because Nintendo's kind of, you know, iffy to go back there. But I think Nintendo has realized, okay, we, we've been doing horribly, especially with the Wii U. Let's just combine our success of the portable market and put this that success into the home console market. And then once we do that, we can get like we can get everyone trusting us again. We can, you know, be making those amazing consoles from the 90s that everyone I'm not talking about the virtual boy by the way. They might go with something else, but personally, I think if home consoles stay around, they're going to go with that. Something else interesting I was thinking about as well is that is Nintendo actually just going to bail on home consoles entirely and start making, okay this is probably going to sound ridiculous, but is Nintendo going to start making their own phone? Yeah, okay that probably sounds really stupid, but I could imagine that if phones and tablets and all that take over, because they're already taking over, but they literally demolish home consoles, like wipe the floor with them and Nintendo and maybe other companies too, like Sony and Microsoft, just say, you know what, it's better if we just make an Nerf. I mean, I know that Microsoft and Sony are already making phones, so they don't really need to do that. But again, like Windows Phone, um, success, ha, huh, a nice joke. And Sony phones, I rarely see anyone with a Sony phone today. So maybe PlayStation phone, I think that's actually a thing. I like a Sony Xperia or something that's that's been like dubbed by fans the PlayStation phone or something, maybe like an Xbox tablet, and who knows, maybe Nintendo will try something different, you know, it would be interesting if they had like this DS kind of phone, where you could have like, you know, the one panel for like, you know, texting and all that, and opening apps and doing all that kind of stuff, and the bottom panel, like you'd hold it like a normal phone, like not facing like, like the 3DS or the DS, like facing on a and then like on the other panel you can see weather and notifications maybe that's just my idea so if you're like oh it's not gonna happen and all that okay but you gotta remember this is just my idea i'm brainstorming i'm just talking it's probably not gonna happen but you know what this is so weird this generation so you can't predict pretty much anything so what do you think Nintendo is going to do next? Please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. If you have any articles that you want me to talk about, please private message me on YouTube with the link to the article and if you ask, you might get a shout out for it. And see you.